Many problems in image processing, graphics and vision involve translating an input image into a corresponding output image. For instance, relate day to night, a sketch to a photo or a segmentation mask to a photo. These problems are often treated with uh, application-specific algorithms, even though the setting is always the same. Map pixels to pixels. For such tasks, explicitly supervised data is seldom available, and lab labeling can be labor-intensive. Moreover, pairing images can become tricky if uh, corresponding images are missing in one domain or if there are multiple best candidates for an image. In this video, we're going to learn how to learn image relations with generative adversarial networks. Recall that a generative adversarial network, such as a DC GAN, may learn a mapping from a Latin space to image pixels. Analogously, it may be trained to learn a mapping from image pixels in one domain to image pixels in another domain. This could be achieved with an encoder-decoder kind of architecture. If we take a dataset with facial attribute annotation, such as Celeb A, where a hair color is annotated, we can perform a simple experiment. Let us construct a GAN that will transform blonde hair to black hair. The generator will have an encoder-decoder architecture and will map XA, an image uh, of a woman with blonde hair, to image XAB in domain B, people with black hair. The discriminator will try to distinguish between real and fake people with black hair. This whole model trains by minimizing the standard GAN loss. The generator tries to fool the discriminator, and the discriminator tries to output numbers close to 1 when XB is a real image in domain B, and numbers close to 0 when XAB is fake image in domain B. One way of improving the generator might be introducing an auxiliary loss, make the mapping between uh, domains A and B more bijective, if one is allowed to say so. A generator GAB translates uh, input image XA from domain A into XAB in domain B. The generated image is then translated back into domain A, image XA. ABA to match the original input image. Various forms of distance functions such as mean squared error or cosine distance and hinge loss can be used as the reconstruction loss. Effectively, we reconstruct the uh, XA via XABA. The translated output XAB is then scored by the standard a discriminator, which compares it to a real domain B sample, XB. Another step uh, in improving the mapping quality is to employ two GAN models. Each of the two coupled models learns the mapping from one domain to another, and also the reverse mapping for reconstruction. The two models are trained together simultaneously. The two generators, GAB and the two generators GABs share parameters, and the generated images XBA and XAB are each fed into separate respective discriminators DA and DB, and the whole model is trained simultaneously. The resulting obtained translations are shown in the slide. The Discovery GAN architecture, or Disco GAN, is able to successfully pair male to female images, blonde to black hair, or cars at different uh, viewing angles to faces at same respective viewing angles. Uh, so many problems in vision aim at performing pixel to pixel image translation. So this uh, is a sort of relation that may be learned by training an encoder-decoder uh, generative architecture that will map pixels in one domain to pixels in another domain. We may uh, regularize le learning by adding reconstruction penalty and considering multiple models that will allow us to avoid the so-called mode collapse problem and enforce uh, the objective mapping.